Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are at the Trammell Fossil Park in Cincinnati, or a little north of Cincinnati. Um, it's a nice little park dedicated to fossil collecting. Um, it's great to take kids to because you're not on the road and you're guaranteed to find something. So it's a little cold out today. We're the only ones here. Let's see what we can find. There is a uh, nice little area with a couple picnic tables and some signs talking about the geology of the different layers. So if you're interested in knowing what you're more likely to find in each layer and what Ohio looked like at the time that those layers were being deposited, you can uh, read those signs and check that out. So right from the start, you can see there's fossils in pretty much every piece. Everything's a little frozen right now. It's like 20 degrees out, but uh, little, little brachiopod in this guy and tons of little bryozoans and some other shell hash in that one. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you pick up a rock here, it's probably gonna have quite a few fossils in it. This is Ordovician aged death plates, essentially, where there's just tons and tons of fossils that make up the limestone. So uh, I got a pool of brachiopod in there. Found some sort of probably mouth plate or shed or something from a trilobite, but uh, nothing super significant. A neat trace fossil through here, this is like burrow tunnel thing. That's kind of cool. Way too big of a piece to take and I don't really need that anyway. We got some uh, happy little crinoids, these little Cheerios in here. It's a little piece of a brachiopod. That might be fun to prop out. I might take that piece. Alright, hopefully this guy is not frozen because he's oh he's not frozen. He has a nice little brachiopod. Let's get some sunlight on him. He's a keeper. There's a bit going on in this one. Let's see. I don't know what that is. Oh well, most of that is. Probably lots of bryozoan hash and some brachiopod hash. Meaning hash meaning broken shell pieces. Nice little couple of brachiopods in there. Some more in this piece here. I just picked up this piece, and for the most part, it's a lot of little brachiopods, which are nice. But this piece right in here intrigues me. I think I want to take the air scribe to that and see what it is underneath. It's probably just another brachiopod, but it'd be really cool if it's part of a trilobite. A nice little loose bryozoan segment, which is like a moss animal. Also kind of like a coral, but it's different. So this is kind of neat. They've got the uh, geologic units marked off where those contacts would be. So uh, you know which layer you're digging in. He's way up high. They're uh, marked all down the, uh, the path here, so you know kind of the age of the fossils you're finding. Brachiopod piece in here. A little bryzone growing over. A uh, cephalopod segment just sitting on the uh, rock here that someone must have left behind. But uh, no one else is here, so if they left it behind, they didn't want it. I found part of a trilobite. He's a uh, not in great shape. I think that little part's there is a brachiopod. It's just part of the head plate, I think. But, uh, always exciting when you find the trilobites. So, cab down here. Nice, uh, little death plate with lots of little, little crinoids, which are my favorites, and some brachiopods and other things as well. Some bigger brachiopods on the back. I like that piece. Um, uh, maybe we'll keep him. I think he's small enough. And uh, that might be part of a trilobite. It might be part of a brachiopod, I'm not sure. Some bryzoans up there. These uh, big plates have a lot of brachiopods on them. Look at them all. Got a 
found a couple nice little bryozoan segments. And, uh, what's this guy? Probably more bryozoan. Yeah, more bryozoan. But really nice bumpy texture. Um, let's see what else we can find in here. There's a lot of bryozoans in this location. Right, guys we're gonna take off um this is a good place to take little kids because it's a place where you'll find some fossils but if you're looking for nice display piece fossils you're probably not gonna find them here it's a little bit picked over but uh it's a uh, a good place to come and check out if you're in the area thank you so much for watching if you like this video uh leave a thumbs up and if this is the con kind of content that you're interested in seeing more of don't forget to subscribe thank you so much have a great day